welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? Well, we're heading up from Uptown Paphos and we're heading up towards Tessada, one of the highest points in the Paphos district, by the way, around about 2,000 metres or so I'm told, above sea level. So it does get a little bit chilly in the winter time. And over the last few days, to be honest, well, the weather's been a little bit Sherlock Holmes. I understand there's not a lot of people that want to hear that, but luckily for you, most of you are sitting in front of your, well, lovely roaring fires like JJ, my JJ tonic all the way out in Shropshire. She's cuddled up on the sofa with her Mr Andy and of course a lovely little dog, yes. And they cuddled up and probably had a takeaway last night because she was going to send Mr Andy out so that she could have well a little bit of peace and quiet shall we say. Anyway, here we are. We've arrived at Tassada village. So if you were to take a right there, you would head into the old village. What's this one doing? I don't know. I think he's driving in Greece. But there we go. Right. He obviously was just popping to the supermarket. As you can see, it's quite busy in the morning here because what time is it? Well, 8.30 in the morning, if you are curious to know. And as you can see, the roads are a little bit damp. There's been a little bit of a shower through the night, but they are forecasting today a better day. So... Hopefully, today will be a spectacular day in downtown Norfolk. Why is that? Because there's one lady in Norfolk and today is her birthday. Now, she's busily ironing away because her man, Mr. Mart, has to go to work on a Saturday morning. I think it's every fourth Saturday or something like that. He goes to work because he's in charge of delivery of all of the Volkswagen parts in the entire world. Yes, very important man indeed. Now and again he falls over when he's watching one of the Marika and me videos because he understands that, well, we're stupid. But there is a young lady and she is ironing like the clappers, although she's probably fallen over at the moment. But Miss Andrea, go and sit down, pour yourself a cup of tea and get yourself one of those milk malted milk hobnob, hobnobs, I mean, I can't even say it to be honest, never mind find them in the supermarket. I mean, I've said Lord, yes, I promoted them, Lord Simon and Lord Jeremy out to have a look because they're starting to complain that their jobs are getting a little bit too hard. I mean, the girls are whipping them into a right frenzy, that's for sure. Miss Vivian, get the boots on, get the cuffs out and get the whips because those boys need to be whipped. Miss Nessie, get the shotgun and start chasing them around. It's like a carry-on film, isn't it, to be honest? But anyway, Miss Vivian, Miss Nessie, they're the girls who are in charge of the lounge bar. No, it's not a cafeteria, it's a lounge bar. It's the Marika and me lounge bar. And those are the girls in charge, the superstars, Miss Vivian and Miss Nessie. And they will attend to your every single need. If you want a cupcake, Mr. Allen, flick the machine on. Come on, get yourself up to three or four miles an hour. We're heading downhill and we're going to Stromby. And then we're gonna go up to top of Stromby, take a left, and we're gonna waggle our way towards Cathicus. That's where we're actually going. Beautiful route this, by the way, spectacular views, even on a damp and chilly morning. So Miss Dawn, hang on to Miss Daisy, and hang on to Bobo the dog, Mr. Sean. The temperature, if you're curious to know, in the lowlands of Stromby is around about 11 degrees. But they're forecasting a high today of about 18, and guess what? Sunshine. And as you can see, the sunshine is actually breaking through the clouds. And there's a bit of blueness coming through. And I looked out the window this morning, and guess what? The sea was blue. I'm dressed head to toe in blue. All that's actually missing is you. Get yourself on a big bird. Or perhaps a canoe and start paddling like crazy. Because, Mr. Kenny, well, I am quite simply waiting for you. Mr. Paul Roberts, Mr. Cole Roberts, kick back and relax. Let Kenny take over the driving and let's see where this little adventure takes us to. So, Miss Andrea, happy birthday to you. And the crew have got a special, special message for you. Here we go, crew, come on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Miss Andrea. Happy birthday to you. Enjoy your aunt. I'm going to say enjoy your ironing, Miss Andrea, and enjoy your malted milk chocolate hobnob and your cup of tea. 
and I'm sure you're going to have a great, great day, and I'm sure Mr. Mark's going to look after you very, very well. I understand he's bought you something, and hopefully he's going to take you out somewhere nice to eat, somewhere where you can't use your vouchers, somewhere, well, befitting for a lady like Lady Andrea. Yes, she is now a lady, and of course, we will promote Mr. Mart and call him Sir Mart from now on. So there's your birthday present, Lady Andrea. Welcome to the club. Kick back and relax. We're about to arrive in the Stromby village. And uh, like I say, it's a bit damp this morning, as you can see from the roads. And it's a little bit chilly. But the skies, well, they don't look too bad. It's got a bit of blueness, hopefully being beamed onto your screens. And a little bit of blueness. And the temperature, like I've said, it's dropped a little bit now because we are inland again and quite low. 9.5 degrees. Ouch, that's cold. I'm not getting out of the murk today. Anyway, one of our Newcomb Barrows in town, Sean Broad. Yes, uh, he's in the drug pushing business now. No, I'm only joking. He makes health sub 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 oh, I'm losing my English, by the way. He makes health supplements with Sir Richard, one of our great, great friends. And of course, they hang around with Miss Julie. And of course, my little mate, Mr. Leo. And they hang around in uh, the factory, making all sorts of potions. So if you want to lose a little bit of weight or put on a bit of weight and make some muscles, those kind of things, that's the guy to go to, that's for sure. And he's my business strategist. And Mr. Richard, one day, you are going to be coming to the Marika and Me Lounge Bar and you are going to sit at the very, very head of the round table, that's for sure. And so is Mr. Leo, and so is Miss Julie, of course. And of course, you can bring Sean Broad along because he's got a nice big boat and now we can go for a bit of a wiggle and a waggle in and around the Mediterranean Blue Sea, skip from Greek Island to Greek Island while we look for that perfect, perfect place for Miss Archie receiving out of Booth and myself to get married anyway. Uh oh, road's getting a bit. Oh oh. Oh, oh, lady, oh, oh, so, so sweet Caroline. Get yourself onto the memory foam cushion. But just before you do, pour, Lord, nice your big guns, a little bit of a tipple, and it'll just take away the pain from your bottoms as we transcend up to the top of Stromby Village. And we're going to come out of Stromby Village, and then we're going to take a left, and we're going to head up towards Cadicus, which gets even higher again. Uh, I remember a couple of years back now, at this time of year, I ventured just past Cathicus and onto a village called India. Very nice place to live, and there's one or two expats who live up there, hence why I was going there. And, uh, well, it was snowing. Yes, believe it or not, we do get snow in downtown Paphos now and again, Miss Anna, all the way out there in Poland, but not very often. And, of course, Lord Ritchie, if you're watching, again, up in Blatislava. You do get a little bit of the white stuff, I know. And uh, we do get it in Paphos now and again, but not very, very often. But I mean, thinking that, 10 years ago now it was, I remember now that I was actually driving along the coast road. Yes, you heard me correctly, the coast road. But I wasn't going to Payer, I was actually coming the other way from Payer. So I was coming from Coral Bay in Payer and heading back towards Paphos. And actually on the coast road itself, there was hailstones and snow coming down. Well, I've never seen it before. It was one of those freak incidents and it made the news and the media. And I remember we all talked about it for quite a while. Anyway, that's the weather done with. As you can see, the roads are drying out very, very nicely and the sky is getting that little bit more blue. And the day is going to be absolutely spectacular because, you know, there's some people all the way up in Bonnie, Scotland. Yes, there are quite a few viewers, to be honest. And there's two superstars now sitting on the edge of their sofa and they're wondering. I bet they're wondering because these two people reside in Inverness. And as far as I understand it, that is in Scotland. And it's probably a little bit chilly. And they're sitting there now, probably with a well, cup of tea, cup of coffee. Could be a cup of Bovril, or it could be something that little bit stronger. It could be like Mr. Doug's favourite tipple, a rum and coke. And they are sitting on the edge of that sofa wondering, who the hell is he talking about now? Now, hold on a minute. Let's just let me keep you in suspense for that a little bit longer while I have a slurp on my coffee. My God, Miss Nessie, that is a beautiful coffee, and it's just sweet enough as well. Anyway, 
back to our Scottish friends who are sitting on the edge of the sofa wondering who the hell is he talking about all the way up in Bonnie, Scotland, in Inverness, and in particular. Well, Miss Kath and Mr. Stephen, yes, you heard your names, Miss Kath and Mr. Stephen, a very, very big hello to you and welcome to the Breakfast Crew. You'll be appearing for a couple of days, that's for sure. Thanks for supporting the channel and uh, we truly appreciate everybody that watches and it's all about having a little bit of fun and if you want to get yourself onto the sofa, on that note, all you have to do is pop through to our about page, hit the buy me a coffee icon and guess what? You'll appear in very, very soon. That's how the channel is funded, by the way. I know most people are intelligent enough to understand that I have to put benzene in the car, which is petrol, and we have to drive around, and unfortunately, that does cost a couple of bob. So if you appreciate what you see, please go through to the About page, hit the Buy Me A Coffee icon, and buy us a coffee or two. Very, very much appreciated. Thanks very much. So, some of the superstars on the sofas, well, I wonder if he's up there in Denmark waiting. I bet he is. I bet he's got himself a coffee. Is it a sip of your coffee? Probably not. But uh, when you come down to downtown Paphos, I'll take you and I'll promise you that I will buy you the best Cypriot coffee in the world. Yes, Viking Ronnie. Welcome to the sofa. He's sitting there and he's enjoying the ride. David and Karina, who live in downtown Paphos. I think our paths must have crossed once or twice. And hopefully, if you are in and around the area and you spot us, you'll pop over and say hi. Again, thanks for supporting the channel. Truly, truly appreciated. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. The list goes on and on and on. And there are superstars after superstars. Mr. Doug, a bit, a bit of fun in the comments last night. You've been kicked off the sofa, but don't worry. You'll be coming back very, very soon because you are a superstar amongst superstars. You had us in stitches last night when I said to you, do you really want to murder me? And you said, no, no, maybe Marika. And she was, she, well, she almost fell off the chair that we, she was sitting on that she was reading the comments with me. Anyway, I'm going to say thanks for watching. And if you do like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe. I want to come back for a little bit more of my madness. I'm pretty sure now that you understand that the weather is getting better. That sky, it's getting bluer. It's absolutely spectacular up here. Views to take your breath away. service but what can I say totally Sherlock Holmes doesn't matter where you go and I know it's the same all over the world unless you live in Switzerland one of these days we'll have to relocate but it's quite an expensive place to live we may have to put the price of a cup of coffee up thanks for watching technically well we're in the village of Cathicus beautiful village plenty of earners if you're coming for a holiday and you're in Paphos, 20 minute drive. So get yourself a hire car, steal a car, borrow a car, and come up here in the summer. It truly, truly is spectacular. And all of the tavernas in the village square make excellent food at reasonable prices, and they will treat you very, very well indeed. Thanks for watching.